Female humanoid robots are so popular nowadays, but what does the future hold for the AI industry? Will they replace humans? In today's video, let's find out and make sure to subscribe for more such uploads. Here we begin. So why are female humanoid robots important? On the robotic life tree, female human-like robots are highly valued. Everything makes sense. Female humans are brilliant, beautiful, compassionate, lovable, and romantically successful. Why not strive to create female human-like robots in these ways? Don't we want robots to be capable of amazing things like love, compassion, and genius? These capabilities are certainly not yet available to robots. However, simply striving for such goals put us at risk of achieving them. This is because we limit our machines to the most basic requirements when designing female human-inspired robotics. Female humanoid robots are known to be the pinnacle of bio-inspired engineering. Female humanoid robots contribute to scientific progress. They push the boundaries of biology, cognitive science, and engineering, resulting in a mountain of scientific publications in fields such as computational neuroscience, AI, speech recognition, compliant greedy and manipulation, cognitive robotics, robotic navigation, perception, and the integration of these beautifully applied sciences inside whole female humanoids. This integrative strategy reflects current structural biology developments, and female humanoid robotics can thus be considered a subset of metabiology. They influence the sciences and define the difficulty of scientific inquiry. The future of AI is maybe female but not feminist. Amazon's Alexa, housed in a tall plastic cylinder, bears no resemblance to a woman. When asked about its gender, however, the system oddly responds that it is female in character. A closer examination of recent advances in artificial intelligence reveals that Alexa is the rule rather than the exception. From Apple's Siri to Hanson Robotics' humanoid robot Sophia, the future appears female, but not in the way we expected. Artificial intelligence and robotics may aim to liberate us from many human constraints, but gender stereotypes appear to be one of them. Some recent advances in these fields are transporting us back to the 1950s rather than forward. Names and appearances of devices in industries, such as sports and weaponry, are typically male or somewhat technical. Taekwon V, the winner of the robot skiing competition at this year's Winter Olympics, and named after a boy in a popular manga comic, is one prominent example. However, in the service and caring industries, device names and appearances are almost entirely female. Of course, these mostly Caucasian females are stunningly beautiful. Sophia was reportedly inspired by actress Audrey Hepburn. She also resembles the humanoid robot Ava from the film Ex Machina. Not surprisingly, many news outlets have dubbed her the hot robot. The emphasis is once again on a woman's beauty. The implications of these developments do not necessitate a degree in gender studies. Advances in artificial intelligence and robotics add another layer of complexity to the current debate about gender and identity. Obviously, Sophia and her companions are not real women. But how can we encourage young girls to aspire to be doctors, politicians, or astronauts if they're constantly surrounded by female-looking service robots and are constantly exposed to a view of femininity that makes the Stepford wives look progressive? How can we teach young boys to treat women with dignity and respect when they spend their days bossing around their female virtual assistants? Amazon's Alexa was subjected to so much verbal abuse that developers had to create a special disengagement mode for her. These thoughts are easy to dismiss as theoretical musings about the distant future. However, Japan opened its first hotel with robot receptionists in 2015. The vast majority of them are female. In addition, the country is experimenting with caregiving robots in over 5,000 elderly facilities. Japan is not alone. Over 6,000 elderly people in France Belgium and the Netherlands are currently in direct contact with humanoid robots. In addition, several countries are experimenting with using robot teachers in schools, with the total global market revenue for service robotics expected to grow from $3.7 billion in 2015 to $15 billion in 2020. These developments will without a doubt have a massive impact on the service industry. Movements such as Time's Up and Hashtag MeToo may help to combat current workplace inequality and injustice. But what we still need in this necessary and determined fight for equality is that the time for women is literally up in many professions. Many people have written about the job losses caused by artificial intelligence and robotics. Few have noted, however, that many of those laid off are members of an already vulnerable group, minority women who are traditionally employed in the service industry. In the United States alone, 
164,000 female secretaries and administrative assistants will lose their jobs over the next few years compared to 90,000 male assembly line workers. This only scratches the surface. According to a recent World Economic Forum study, women make up 57% of those whose jobs are likely to be replaced by technology. At a time when we are finally encouraging women to speak out about workplace harassment and inequality, we are also working on replacing them with perfect artificial counterparts. Always beautiful, always smiling. Never a bad word or a stray hair. Many difficult economic and ethical questions are raised by artificial intelligence and robotics. But one thing is certain, we will not solve any of them if women continue to be underrepresented in these fields. Because these industries have even lower gender diversity than the tech sector, we must encourage women to participate in AI research and development and discuss its societal implications. Otherwise, a group of men behind closed doors will shape the future again. What are the advantages of female humanoid robots in a new era? For starters, it is a robot with a torso, a head, two arms, and two legs. Though some female humanoid robots may mannequin a portion of the body, such as from the waist up, they may have a face, eyes, and mouth as well. Chinoids are female humanoid robots that look like female humans, whereas androids are female humanoid robots that look like female humans. It has a head that is modeled after female human facial features, such as the eyes and lips. It can be used for practical purposes, such as creating attractive female human equipment and settings, as well as for experimental purposes, such as learning about locomotion. As long as they have the necessary software, female humanoid robots can perform any female human task. Regardless of their practical appearance, they can be used for future dangerous and ways house research missions as companions and aids for female humans in daily life, and as final aid in synthetic and herbal disasters. These female humanoid robots will help many people by caring for the sick, collecting trash, protecting homes and offices, and providing street directions. However, with female humanoid robots in society, life will be different. However, it will be very efficient, and the financial system will grow. Corporations and organizations will also be grateful for robots because they can replace jobs, resulting in significantly lower employee pay. They can still be used as entertainers in business settings but cannot perform primary tasks. Female humanoid robots can assist the military, they can move, acquire data via sensors in the real world, and interact with it. They lack some aspects of the female human body. They are made up of buildings with variable flexibility which provide protection for the robotic and people and movement redundancy, and law enforcement will benefit from them. What are the scopes for female humanoid robots? They can go great in healthcare. Throughout the top COVID-19 pandemic in many hospitals, there has been a prominent example of how robots and female humanoids are used in healthcare. For example, the hospital was once converted into a robot-run subject health center for COVID-19 patients, which included the following features. A thermometry machine that checks incoming patients' temperatures and alerts clinical staff if they show signs of fever. Robots will help patients with clinic admissions and provide important information. Droids clean floors and robots deliver patients' food, medicine, and resources. A Herrick's AI platform screens patients' basic alerts via smart bracelets and rings, allowing healthcare workers to reveal their basic data remotely. Agriculture is also field for them. Weeding Robots Chateau Mouton Rothschild has collaborated with NIO Technologies to bring TET, the company's vine-tailored robotic weed killer 13, on board. Autonomous Farms Iron Ox operates an 8,000-square-foot farm that employs two cloud-connected robots to monitor the growth of leafy vegetables and herbs grown in internal heavy hydroponic pods. They were able to promote their plants to the market in San Carlos 13. Work as Automated Harvesters Marum Orchard's fruit farms have used drones from Tevil Aerobotics Technologies, which use artificial intelligence, to recognize and select ripe fruits 12. What do you think of the rise of female humanoid robots? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.